Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tower. Let's talk some mountain weather and let's just see where we ended up with this thing. I actually blogged about it this morning at ChrisTomer.com um, and talked about the final days of February and looked into March. So if you're not familiar with this, subscribe to it, please. There's a lot of good info in here. I take a, take a fair amount of time and put this together each day. Um, in Colorado, we ended up over a three-day storm cycle with 43 inches at Wolf Creek, a little over 3.9 inches of snow water equivalent. Silverton Mountain, 44 inches. Uh, Swee of 3.1. And Purgatory got nailed, 45 inches. Telluride got 30. Snowmass, almost 3 feet. Crested Butte got 20 inches. Here's the way it looks at um, Wolf Creek right now. Just a couple of leftover snow showers coming down. But by and large, this storm is pulling out of Colorado, pulling out of New Mexico, and headed for the northeast. You've got snow um, headed for the northeast, the ski areas, the big ski areas, tonight and throughout the day on Friday from this energy coming out of the Rockies. Behind it, there's a fast, small area of snow moving through. This is Big Sky um, with an entry to of accumulation up there in Big Sky. That's sliding down through Idaho, eventually Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. And this is just taking advantage of the big dip behind our storm systems with the jet stream. Let me show you what the pattern is, and there it is. You can kind of see it, almost like a fast-moving front diving down through Idaho, uh, Montana, Wyoming, and headed towards Utah and Colorado. Very light accumulations with that, but the pattern looks like this. Big dip in the jet out here over the Pacific a bit, uh, Ridge, and then there's this trough which supported our our two storm combo across the west so all of this will become an active storm track for the pacific northwest in bc this saturday sunday and monday so that is where all of that is headed let me show you what the, the gfs thinks about all of this its interpretation let me take you into friday morning look at the snow in the northeast so this is going to be heavy snow through massachusetts vermont New Hampshire and Maine, um, and in Colorado, that little bit of blue, that little that tiny front is sliding down through Colorado and Utah into Friday morning with maybe an inch or two of accumulation, and then it's high pressure, 1047 coming in Friday night, Saturday, be a cold morning. Uh, here Saturday morning, big high pressure. Sunday morning, same thing. But look at the Pacific Northwest. You're getting hit with that storm system, storm systems, all the way into Monday. So good snow Pacific Northwest. BC into Banff, even into Tuesday morning. In fact, that's the view uh, on the 1st of March. Let me take you into the 2nd and into the 3rd. Here's Thursday, the 3rd of March. All the action is in the Pacific Northwest. All right, so here's what I'm thinking as far as totals. All of today through the 28th, a little bit of snow through Montana, Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado with that tiny fast front that's sliding down on the backside into the trough. And then the storm track will really shift to the Pacific Northwest and BC. And you can see that's where the big totals are going to be Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, up into that area. So again, that's phase one. Here's phase two, the 1st of uh, March through the 5th of March. So to open up the new month, it does look more active with the storm track shifting out of the Pacific Northwest, coming south, taking more of a direct aim into parts of California, Oregon, um, southern Idaho into the Tetons, into southwest Montana, into Utah, and into Colorado. You can see the numbers starting to increase in those areas. And I do think once we kind of hit 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, the storm track will really favor the Intermountain West as the lows, as the pressures really start to bottom out, um, as the lower pressures start to take hold across the West. What about the Northeast? All right, so here we go. Here's my perspective on the Northeast. All of today through the 5th, and probably most of this accumulation occurs between tonight and throughout the day on Friday with this low pressure. And you can see the numbers, one to two feet through parts of Massachusetts and Vermont, parts of New Hampshire up around Mount Washington, and then maybe a little bit less up into parts of Maine. But the big powder day in the Northeast is gonna be tomorrow, and then when the sky's clear for Saturday. Let me take you back again and show you my um, phase one across the uh, the Intermountain West. If you're looking for big powder this weekend, you're still going to find it in Colorado and northern New Mexico today and Friday. But then you'll probably want to make the transition back up into the Pacific Northwest for this weekend as those storms start to get lined up and come in Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. All right, so there you go. That's the way things are shaping up at this point. 
Um, I'll keep an eye on it. We'll definitely keep some updates going again Friday, Saturday, and throughout the weekend. Thank you for tuning in here.